Hello, my name is Alicia Tucker. I'm the Director of Education for the American Revolution Institute of the Society of the Cincinnati, which promotes knowledge and appreciation of the achievement of American independence. And our guest today is Maya Jasanoff. She's the Coolidge Professor of History at Harvard University, and she specializes in the history of the British Empire. And she's here today to talk, to talk about the global migration of loyalists after the American War of Independence, which is the subject of her second book, Liberties, Exiles, American Loyalists in the Revolutionary World. And it's the first global history of the Loyalist diaspora after the Revolutionary War, and we're glad that she's here to talk about Loyalists, which are often not talked about when studying the Revolution, and also to give a global perspective to our national story. Uh, so to start us off, would you tell us uh, what is a Loyalist and what did they want for America and the British Empire? Sure. I, I think that when people look at Loyalists in the American Revolution, they often find the position of Loyalists really puzzling. Loyalists were people who didn't want independence from the British Empire. They wanted to keep King George III as their king, and they wanted to retain all of the connections of trade and friendship and relationships and kinship and religion that had tied the colonies to Britain for so long. But I think that there's a slight backwards forwards way in which people tend to approach this question. Because the truth of the matter is that the loyalist position going into the Revolutionary War was not the weird position. We look at them now as strange, but in fact, it was the rebels who were strange. The rebels were the weird people who actually wanted to break all of the ties. They were the ones who said, hey, we're gonna reinvent things. We're gonna get rid of the king. We're gonna get rid of the empire. We're gonna strike out, strike out on our own. And that's the position that you really have to look at with the question mark over it, not the loyalist position. 